Communication. It's all around you. Communication is the brand of toothpaste you use. It's what you wear, the things you talk to your friends about. It's your connection to others. Communication is your favorite TV show, the newspaper you read at Starbucks this morning, the radio station that plays your favorite songs. It's the books you read, the photos you tag on Facebook. You can never stop communicating. It's like breathing. We need it like eating. As a matter of fact, your cereal box communicates. It guides our speech, how we act, what we choose to like. It creates your concept of reality, your connection to society. It's everywhere. Communication is our major, our passion, our life. I would say that communication is a process in which an individual expresses themselves and merges through empathy with another. From a math perspective, I often use this uh, story uh, telling uh, people that uh, how do you possibly uh, have uh, to have a big sizable society without communication? Now, how could you be a president of the United States and try to spread your idea of speech without having mass communication? It's impossible. You can go somewhere in the middle of like the you know the country, maybe Kansas City, Kansas City, Missouri, and then you can speak as loudly as possible, right? But without having mass communication, you there's literally impossible uh, for you, for you to uh, maintain or even like establish the big society, sizable society like this. Mm -hmm. Communication is everything from the radio when your alarm goes off in the morning to me talking on the phone to my mom to me, you know, coming home and watching TV at night. And it's everything in between. Communication is probably the most versatile major uh, that one could elect to take. And I do think it's a very wise move in terms of the job market, in terms of your personal life enhancing your relationships with others. It virtually touches every aspect of your life. So I would consider it a perfect major. You need to use communication either oral or written to express whatever subject you are working on. Right? You know, chemistry degree or physics majors, whatever, they all talk about their work. They all talk about, um, write about their work. Everyone uses communication in the professional field to express what they're doing, so what they are working on, whatever, whatever, right? So you can help those people, right? And you can explain things, why this strategy doesn't work, and why, you know, you know what the best way to publicize your work in the media, right? What's the best way to solve the problem when you have a fight with your girlfriend, things like this. So you really do have a logical skills or concrete skill to explain or express what people are doing. Communication is really everywhere. It's not just one part of your life. You know, it's whether the way that you interact with your family, your friends, in a business setting, and even just as a society, the way that we interact with each other and just the messages that we receive every single day. It's literally everywhere. I've been in Geneseo's communication department for 24 years and I've always felt that it was a very, very special department. The level of caring of individuals, of faculty members in the department is amazing. The time spent in advising and preparing for classes we have a really good team and a caring team that really want to see our many majors succeed. So it's a joy to come to work. It's not even work, as a matter of fact. Uh, it's more like a passion that we all have.